Welcome to another new video, guys. Have your fun. Stay safe. Here is your daily PSA to not get hung up on the tracks. Dangerous situation and luckily the driver got out unhurt. It's a dangerous intersection. We've been calling on the railroad for years to fix the crossing. Maybe they will this time. Video of a train crashing into a semi near Pendleton, Indiana. The driver of the semi was not in the cab when the train struck. Police say the driver of the train was treated for minor injuries. Train oh my gosh, the semi better go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there it is. Middleton, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Look what happened in Pendleton. Wow. Yeah, he got out alright. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, he got out. He got up there and it was too sharp of a point and it was coming off his so he couldn't get out. That road scraper was gonna pull him out, but then that train came. They tied up on him. Wow, everybody's okay though. Hey, I have something to tell you. I am grateful for your support so far. And now the join section of my channel is open. If you want to support me more, you can become a member of my channel from the join section. You can find the advantages of the join section in the details. Let's continue the video. Camaro causes big wreck on NYS Thruway near Batavia, New York. Uh, just in that one column, Fred's right at the league average if you want to know about him. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if it was from Chase Stewart. It might have been, but I know when the McCoy trade went down, you, you were out of town and there was a lot of... My favorite part is the blinker indicating he's about to do something stupid and the man answering the phone with such optimism when there's two people road raging on the interstate in front of him. Are better at interpreting that stuff i saw was mccoy wasn't impressive in 2014 in 2013 he might have been the top one or two in like in, in some of these advanced metrics so like there was a a, a drop off and you know what whether that was mileage and something to be alarmed about or just you know an anomaly of some kind um you know i guess that's TBD. pro tip if you see someone driving that anxiously don't follow them this closely OP is lucky that accident unfolded the way it did, beside him rather than directly in his lane. It easily could have ended badly for him too, and you could see that unfolding for a solid two minutes. I don't know about you, but I personally want to keep at least 50 yards between me and someone driving like that, preferably 150. You were talking about McCoy there, right? I was talking about McCoy there, yes. Yeah, they're definitely not good, right. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about Murray. The schedule comes out tonight. We have a couple of... Mr. Jacobs. Oh my gosh, look out. Oh, wait, oh my God, hold on. Big wreck, oh my gosh, right in front of me. Yeah. And you know what? I bought a dash cam the other day and I got it all on camera. Yeah. Um, how you doing? I'm gonna pull over here. Alright, thanks. Bye. The Patriots, the Giants, the Cowboys. Uh, the, the Giants and Cowboys are both here this year.
Damn, dude, just glad you're good. I know this was a few years ago, but damn. Got a few truck driver friends that have close calls, but nothing like this, except one during winter early 2017, he good though. To hell with all those that want to see the aftermath, you're more important. Leave it to imagination for those who have never seen a semi on its side on the interstate. I've seen a few myself. Several times in the 90s I considered driving semi, but my knees were giving me trouble, especially my left one which was twisted once. I even tried the clutch pedal on a semi at a truck driving school, and it was too painful. In 2013 I found out I had Lyme disease for decades, and that's why my knees hurt. In November 2011 in drove St. Paul to Sioux Falls and back, and I was extremely bored. So I'm happy I didn't get into truck driving. I need to be around people so I work in a restaurant. I'm doing it. I mean, I... 